What up everybody and welcome back to King Creeps. This is a channel where we react to all things creepy and scary. Listen, this is our second video. If you have not seen the first one, you can click up here and check it out. It was amazing, it was our first video ever with my family. Um, and we're super excited to share this next one with you. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get into this next video. It's gonna be so much fun, very scary, very exciting. Let's see what we think about it. So yeah, let's get into it. So guys, today's video will be with my daughter. I'm super excited to do this one. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited, cool. So let's get into this. And uh, today's video is gonna be? 14 scary videos captured inside church by I Chills. So this video is gonna be by Chills. We're gonna put the link to the description to this video um, in our description um, so you guys can check it out if you wanna see the full video where it's not being reacted to. Um, and subscribe to this channel, give us some support. And subscribe to our subscribe to, to, to. subscribe to our channel. Our channel. You heard her. You don't want to disappoint her. Look at that face. <laughs> so let's get into this video. Okay. That's creepy. Churches are holy places, but in these churches, something more nefarious seems to be afoot. From shadowy figures to off. statues that cry, <laughs> these are the top 14 scary videos captured inside churches. Number 14, churches, Ghost chicken. Congregation, who is sitting beside you in the church pew. <laughs> Posted by Memo in, in the November front. of 2017, <laughs> this creepy old video She's shows a congregation just... that, Wait, at first going... glance, appears completely oh. normal. As the camera scans someone the congregation, the one child is seen sleeping, other congregates are wrapped. How many of you could say you go to church to fall asleep? <laughs> uh, me being a little kid, I fall asleep in church all the time. I go to church now, I don't fall asleep. Um, I normally only fall asleep when it's like nine o'clock. Yeah, when it's nighttime, but I have before. You know, we we we're honest in this video, in this channel. We're honest people. Others are dozing. Yes. And then there's the scary phantom <laughs> spectre look at that, sitting look at that, look at that, Hold on, hold on. He's, the figure is covered in a white sheet and appears slightly transparent. Close up and with higher contrast. You kind of see the face. It looks like a girl. Its face as well. Could this be a Wait, girl? Look. Is it me or looks like a chimpanzee? You see, like, no, it looks like know, a monkey. You know, you know how, like, they have those veils over their face when they're getting married? That's what it looks yeah. like. She has a veil over their face, so. Oh, okay, okay. I, I can see that. Yeah, it makes sense. You see, you guys see that? Like a veil come. Yeah, because it looks like a face through it. Or perhaps a demon. Number 13. Demon. Weeping demon. statue. The Our Lady of Guadalupe Church in Hobbs, okay. New Mexico has a... Why, is that, on its why, why do they have that little kid caressing yeah, statue? Yeah, he's... <laughs> and published in May of 2018 by KOAT, many flocked to the church after its statue of Mary, oh, Jesus, the mother of Christ, began to weep. This clip shows a close-up of the miracle in progress. Is it correct? I think it's just a pain drip. Pain drip. Don't show the people. Our Lady of Guadalupe has wept before, four times to be exact. I don't. I don't. I don't see the tears. Just to me, it looks like uh, like a with the light you reflected yeah. and making it shiny. But if it is te tears, maybe she's crying because uh, she sees how there's a lot of people blessing her. Well, she's blessing them. She's not blessing her. This is a church thing. Bronze statue was closely examined to try and uncover why and how this was happening. En alguna de las misas de la sanación de cáncer en su cara, que a través de la intercesión de esta niña santa, nuestra Virgencita de Guadalupe, el Padre le ha concedido en el... Samples were collected. What I'm guessing is that they feel like if they touch the statue, they'll be blessed. If, if this is something you guys are, you know, you do, if you know, let me know down in the comments if that's something that is actually like was happening by touching the statue. You feel like it's being blessing you. Uh, we would like to know. Um, but I've never seen that before. You know, I yeah. I get it. You know, because people yeah <laughs> people like feel like if they do certain things, certain actions, they receive certain blessings. Yeah. So, so I just don't wanna make it sound like it's creepy. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not saying it's creepy. It's just wondering why they do that. You know. Like, so I'm blessed. <laughs> 
then sent to a lab for analysis, and it was discovered that the liquid was olive oil in a scented mixture used in baptisms and other religious ceremonies. Mm. Our Lady of Guadalupe is the patron saint of Mexico. When statues weep, it is often seen as a sign of something terrible to come. What is this statue warning parishioners of? So why they touching her if it's something evil to come? Number 12, okay. figure in white. <laughs> it appears the bride has arrived. Published by Brigman in July of 2019. This camera's a potato! Congregation in Honduras. I don't know if you guys could see me. This was putting on a spiritual retreat when they captured this Jumping. strange figure on camera. The group is dancing together, jumping around with the festivities. But then an uninvited guest appears. A scary figure dressed What's in that? white What's breaks that? through the mayhem, Seen seeming it? to cast yeah. the others aside. The others, who are all dressed alike as if in uniform, don't even seem to notice the stranger's presence. Is this a mystical revelation mm. or simply someone who insists on standing out from the crowd I, th no way. I I think is my opinion you let me know yeah. I think it's just a random person wearing white and since they are running through the crowd and the cameras also moving at the same time it makes it look like it's kind of see-through yeah because like I I wouldn't when you look at it closely it looks like there's hands, hands yeah, yeah. coming out of it so that's what I'm saying maybe it's just that the way the camera's moving and they're moving it's just making it look more blurry yeah so they're like they're like they're trying to make a scene but they're but um he's doing this so they all get out the way yeah yeah so I think I think it's just a regular person but I could be wrong I don't know I don't know yeah, it could be something I don't know everything Okay, so what says. Both, number 11, <laughs> bell tower shadow figure. What is that in the bell tower? <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> She's, she, she might be watching this. Um, Published by Cherry Wolf in April of 2017, this video was originally posted by the Daily Star. A tourist was waiting to enter the Vatican when out of the corner of his eye, he spotted something concerning the a concerning. creepy shadow figure perched in one of the bell towers. <laughs> The dark figure appears to have wings and seems to be peering down from the tower on the crowd below. It's 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 creepy because it doesn't look like, like wings. Well, it doesn't look like a person to me. Like, like it looks like a figure, but there's no. It's no. Like face. Face. Like yeah. I think even at this distance, you zoom in, you still see details unless they have like a black mask or something. But yeah. I don't Maybe know. Maybe someone just wants to kill themselves. Don't say, can't say the word kill on YouTube. We get in trouble. <laughs> the demon dare to touch down in this holy place. Some think it may be the ghost of someone who jumped from the tower. Maybe. While it's unclear what this being is, we know for sure what it isn't. That's definitely not an angel of God. Number 10. Yeah. Levitating yeah. Host. God works in mysterious ways. Published by Breakman in February of 2019. Breakman. This scary video shows a priest in the middle of a normal consecration of the Eucharist. As he prays and places his hands over the host, the bread seems to levitate for a moment. Wait, no, it looks like shadowy and it looks like something moved and like he's pushing something down. Jostling slightly before settling back down on the plate, nothing nearby appears to be touching it. So it looks like a, the move. And, and right here in the shirt, it kind of looks like a woman's face, kind of like with bangs. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, I see bangs. But then, like when when he's doing this, I see like the sh shadow like thing, and it looks like he's pushing it, because the way he's going. Let's see. Is this She's a divine miracle down, during a routine going, consecration? Oh, hold on. I'm looking at the totally wrong thing. I thought it was a woman's face, but if you look, the plates are moving. Yeah, I saw that. I said that. Oh. <laughs> so that I think you meant like... Number nine. Said the, the plates were moving. Yeah, he, he was pushing down and then the plates started moving. That's... Oh, he was pushing. That's... 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 He's haunted. <laughs> opens his eyes in the chapel of the Cathedral of Saltillo in Mexico. Stands an engraved statue of Christ, but there's something different about this statue. Published by A Dimensional Paranormal in August of 2016, said statue hangs on a cross above an altar. I don't see. No, I don't see. I don't see Jesus. I don't see no Jesus. I did see a face. You see right there? I see a face. What? Right there. 
Yeah, like right there. So the statue like, appears still in lifeless at first until he blinks. Examine Thanks. the statue's face as the camera blink? zooms in to get a closer look. Oh, the oh okay. statue it's undeniably blink. opens oh, its yeah. eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You want to see that? I was looking at something totally wrong. You sure that's a statue? Okay, I see Jesus. I see Jesus. Uh, you see that? That's the crown and then the beard. But it, it looks, you yeah, know, that was creepy. Jesus, but it's not really Jesus. It looks like a creepy Jesus. Yeah. I don't like creepy Jesus. Wait, it's a, Jesus. In uncanny and stare blankly ahead for oh, it a moment blink. before falling I closed again. I don't listen to you. I guess that's what it is. No, you didn't have to Oh, no, I see his body. His body was blurred before. His body's open. It blinks. Is this a miracle? Yo, a scary trick of the light? For, you, you're not going to know about this because you're young, but I don't know if you guys remember, like, you probably remember. Yeah. There was dolls and stuff like that, that the, like baby dolls that would blink by itself. If you move the same way, that's what it looked like. Oh, yeah, I have those, but, but I threw them away. Thank you, that's creepy. I don't like them. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what exactly could be causing this. Number eight, ghost in know. former church. Michigan's Atwater in the Park Brewery is a renovated former church and a haunted one at that. Published by Click on Detroit Local 4 WDIV in April of 2018, a paranormal investigation conducted by Detroit Paranormal Expeditions so claims to have caught a ghostly apparition on camera. The original church was built in the 1930s and has a history to match, as many of the brewery's employees confessed to experiencing paranormal encounters there. This one was caught on camera. While the group is standing inside oh. the church, oh, a shit. white object yeah. can be seen flying overhead. It appears in the darkness for just a moment before disappearing altogether. It looks like Casper. Use casters called psychics to get their sense of what this winged object might be. Those who commented on the video said it was yeah. angelic and protective, all of which points to a positive energy. I'm sure the brewery wow. is grateful like that the ghosts face. aren't and bad the, customers. Number seven, Phantom Pianist. Oh. Like this phantom musician is quite a piano oh, virtuoso. Published by Forerun Nero Ooh. in July That's 2007. That's fake. 2007. No, that's fake. A scary that's video fake. is captured inside a chat. Listen, that has to be fake because... Because what? every time they keep running into the y stuff. Yeah, like why, like, t okay. Like, okay, just to give you context. We're Spanish, we're Puerto Rican, right? Mm -hmm. And we're taught that if anything bad is happening or anything scary, you don't go into it, you run away. You see a fire? Away. You see a, a, a bus something about to explode? Away. You see your mom about to come with a belt? Away. You know what I'm saying? So why are you running towards the whatever that is? Like that makes that makes no sense to me. Yeah, there's no there's not supposed to be anything pushing you there. Yeah. You push away. Let's do it together. Away. away. In the woods at night, the chapel is said to be haunted, so the guys gathered their courage and headed inside. When they open the large wooden door, they find everything inside is wooden as well. From the pews to the ladder, they intend to climb. Something's gonna fall out of there. Oh god, I'm so scared. As they're standing there debating whether to climb it or not, distant piano music is heard. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, Stop Chris Parker here. They shut off their flashlights thinking they're no longer the only ones in the chapel. Just walk in. We know you're gonna go. Just go. <laughs> Then they take a peek into the next room, where they see the phantom player. Scared out of their wits, they decide to make a run for it. But they run towards they it. Run past the Wait, ghost, what? Stop playing. Okay. 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 So <clears throat> they make a run for it, but they run towards it instead of the way they came from, which makes no sense. That's defining what he just said. He makes a run for it, not towards oh. it. No, no, like. Run, like they run for it to get away, but the way they yeah. get away is running towards it. Yeah. Even though they didn't come from that way, they came from a different way. So that's that's not. The, they're supposed to go that way. I've learned in life you can't try to figure things out sometimes because it's just gonna hurt your head and give you a headache, and I have a headache right now because I don't get why they're doing this. 
It just continues. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Once they get outside, the music stops and the sudden silence is even creepier. Did they? Or may, maybe? Let me stop judging. Maybe they went in that way, walked to where the ladders were, and then that's when they heard. Let me. I need to stop judging. Wait, you scared me. I'm thinking. I'm over here. So, so maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Don't, don't judge me. Don't listen. If you think I'm wrong, comment down below. Be like, Angel, you were wrong. I, I apologize if I was. Yeah, they could come from that. They could have came that way and then it happened. So. Well, wait. Aren't the chairs facing that way? Wouldn't it be weird to come? But maybe, that way? maybe they came into the front of the church and they went into that room and when they heard the piano, the only way out was to go out the, through the front of the church. We're gonna have to go there and figure it out. That sounds weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As the ghost given chase. I'm going to take that as a yes. Yes. Why would they stop Number running? Six, mysterious oh, figure. Exactly. This one you'll just have to see to believe. Published to the Irish Mirror. This mysterious capture is credited to Karen Furlong. Furlong lives across from St. Mary's Church in Wexford and often takes photos of the church as she thinks it's quite beautiful. It was snowing one night when she ran out to snap a few pictures. After posting them on social media, Furlong spotted something haunting in one of the shots when it appears to be a figure trapped inside the wall. Zooming in on the image, she was even more sure that she captured something super That could be fungus. Because of the way the picture looks in the thing, it's like so like grainy. dotty, like it's grainy. dots. And it could just be like, like uh, uh, I don't know if it's fungus, but like mold or yeah. just spots make it, it look like it. anything. Anything. Like, that that looks weird. Weird. Really weird. Yeah, right. all, locals theorize that a dungeon used to be situated beneath the church and this ghost might have been a former prisoner. Some say a tunnel leads beneath the church to the river Barrow, built in the early 13th century. There's no doubt that St. Mary's has a few tales to tell. Furlong originally thought that the creepy figure was a monk, but decided it looked more like a woman in despair. What do you think this could be? We'll look at it later. It is. It's trapped in stone and can't get out. Number five, Nest Church Ghost. Nest Church in Litchfield, Minnesota is rumored to be haunted. Published by Red Hand Rejects in October of 2012, 25. this scary video seems to substantiate those claims. Filmed around 8 p.m., a group of ghost hunters is wandering a graveyard Why they when they so turn much? off their camera light for a moment so as not to be observed by the Wait, nearby combine. When they turn the light back on, they witness this. There's, there's like dots, you see? A ghostly transparent figure appears to be standing very close to them. When one of them asks, what was that? The cameraman writes that he didn't right. see it at the time, but recalled feeling strange at this point. What are we looking at? When they later I don't know, the I can't, right the there, footage, but, but I saw like dots. The strange thing is that the creepy figure seems to be there, drifting. And and many in the comments who know this church and its grounds no, agree that it's haunted. You know. Including YouTuber right Jennifer Horseman, who writes, I've been there right. both times, and from my it's, experiences, um, I would. Okay. If you see it, right? Cause she said I'm blind. I and probably am. I see two. I see two tiny dots right there. I don't see. And then it. I see that coming there. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't see it. Uh, I see that. That white spot. Uh, yeah, I see that. But but like it, there was two dots, and then it matched the same color. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not going to stress myself up. This place I'm is <laughs> definitely haunted. Okay. Does this okay. transparent ghostly figure convince hey, you that the rumors no. are true? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I don't see it. Guest. <laughs> now I know I've talked about this incident before, oh, look, but for this oh. topic, so I must ooh. bring it up again. That is creepy. Picture this. You're in church Maybe when you see this unwelcome guest enter the sacred space published by Real Bazaar. It looks like Predator. You. No, no. You see the movie Predator? Not Predator. Aliens. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you, you never seen the movie Aliens, but uh, 2020. This creepy like demon creature is all too real. The photo went viral. That's a creepy looking dress. 
And while the pastor never once saw the creature in his church, some in the congregation said it attended Mass regularly. Those who did see it prayed incessantly that the demon would leave. Eventually it did. Uh, I guess you can chalk it up to the power of prayer. No, I'm waiting. Let me show you guys something. Let's see the show it again. Realized he wasn't welcome. Number three. Do you notice how many fans that church had? There's at least like 20 fans in the ceiling. I'm just saying. It must be very hot in there. You should close the door so the thing no, doesn't no. come in. And it stays warmer, the cooler. The thing, like, how, how do you, like, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, like, if they didn't see it, how would they, like, dang it, I forgot. She don't know what she's talking about. I forgot about. what I was going to say. So, so this, they, gonna... they took the picture. It wasn't, yeah, so what they're saying is that they didn't see it when they took the picture is when they seen it in the pictures. Yes, is that what you're trying to figure out? No, but okay. It's okay. Next. Ghost me. Bride, do you take this creepy ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded Ooh. wife? Ooh. Published oh. in March of 2020, uh. exploring with oh, Danny that? heads no. into an abandoned He's church not? built in 1870 by William Henry. I think you're seeing things. He notes that no, ghost sightings have been reported here, there's as well not, as like, screams like at 3 in the morning. Let's take a look at what Danny door. found. It was, it was even where you look at. church a few times, no, trying to find a way in, Danny finally enters through a tiny window. The place is really broken apart. The crew has to walk wait, across wait, wait, planks over open floors to navigate it? around the old you church. Through, yeah. You just said they jumped through a window. You listening, girl? No, <laughs> I'm always here. I'm over here looking for the thing I saw. They went. He, he went through a small window. Wait, how did he go through a small window? He thought, obviously he climbed it. <laughs> the sphere is haunting. You can hear water dripping from somewhere. As the boys wander around the scene, pigeons are all around the rafters cooing and making a racket. And pigeons are going crazy. Crazy? Pigeons cooing. But when they both hear you know, another cool. noise, yeah. footsteps <laughs> and a bang from another oh, room. Scary part, Shh, well, what is that noise? Is that pigeons? I would never go in a place like this. They know they aren't alone. At one point, they are facing a graffiti wall with a doorway to a room beyond. Something moves in the doorway as Danny shouts hello. Yeah, I think it's right here. Right there. See, see? Where? Where am I looking at? By the blue thing. Hello? Yeah. At first, he doesn't know what he's looking at, but when he swings the camera back, he gasps in horror. See it? Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, why are you still, why, why are you, why are you still standing there? I don't he, get it. He goes, ah. uh, Some dog, but he doesn't go nowhere. I don't. Posted. Do this. Run, run. That's flash right there. Up here and there is a woman in white who seems to be holding her that was own good. head. Good. The guys flew from the ghost bride before they've said their vows. Number two, <laughs> evil abandoned church. You know that tingling sensation you get when the energy in a place Why feels absolutely evil? These mm. urban explorers Ew. feel an instant. It looks like, it looks like one of my clients that I heard. Church. Published yeah, in March of 2020, this crew yeah. heads to the south of Wales that. to what they claim is an like evil it. abandoned church. You're about to see just how evil. <clears throat> After climbing into the enormous oh. stone church through a small... Listen, you can't tell my physique because I'm sitting down right now, but your boy would not be able to no. fit through that gap. No. You could. I, I could. I, I could. I'm, I could fit through. I'm in the words of Gabriel Gliss, I'm a little fluffy. So, uh... I wouldn't be able to do this little event here and explore dangerous stuff that I shouldn't be exploring. But how do people even get in? They had to be you're, skinny. It's a skinny person event. So if you're skinny, you can go to this place. If you're not, go like that. You gotta be like this. Do something else. You gotta go like that. And oh, they find they aren't the first to have explored the creepy old building. Some thirsty people. Clearly, many people have been here before because it is covered in graffiti, including this and Why? this. He just ignored the whole. This. Many, how many Dead cans and drinks there is there? Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Like, he oh, says he's sure there are hauntings in here. Guys, I think there's hauntings in here. I think there's hauntings in here. You can't get through that gap. Liar. Why are you getting behind me? I don't know. No, I can't see. So I went like this. What do you think? 
Does this old ruin feel haunted to Must you? Hear. If the energy is evil, Wait, like what? they say, I'll be staying far away from you. You're just saying it feels evil. I've got a challenge for you. What is it? Since you've made it this far, okay. you don't like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds because I upload four new scary videos. Listen, listen to Chills, go subscribe to his channel, get another like, but do the same thing for us. Support our channel. Yeah. We're a new channel and we just want to be blessed. Please bless. Please bless us with a like. You okay. want to be blessed and watch Yo's every not week. Stuff. If you're curious about what I oh. look like in real life, it doesn't look like that. Instagram yeah. at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button to find out number one. Do you think we should make an Instagram? <laughs> Maybe um, post our stuff, things we'll be doing, all that. Yeah. Yeah, we do crazy stuff. I don't know what you think. Should we make an Instagram? Is risen. Number one. Saint Joseph of Cupertino oh, was an Italian Franciscan friar and mystic who is said to have levitated miraculously during his lifetime. Whenever he experienced visions, this image, which is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community, is believed to be Saint Joseph resurrected. A clip published by Breakman in October of 2021 explains that. that some believers claim that this image has captured the actual appearance of Saint Joseph oh, rising so into the dome. Inside this Catholic church, back. his dark figure doesn't that match red? with the rest Wait, of the lighter artwork in the church you... dome, which has some convinced Look, has that he is a part of the church decor, red, but rather of the camera flash. What do you think? If this is a person, well, then I think something. It could be painted on the wall. How? That looks nothing connected to the end of the wall. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe it's like, maybe they, they're like, they're trying to celebrate like Joseph thing or something. So they, so they got like a picture and try to like represent that and they got, got like, try to get, try to get it sticking to the wall or something. I don't know. It could be anything. But I know that's not powerful real. powerful has to be in control it's here. Not real. Do you really think you can handle 15 scary videos? Okay. So guys. That's the end of the video. We're not watching That's that. the end of the video. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to say this is not one of my favorite videos mm -mm. of chill, chill, chills, 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 right? Chills. Um, I don't know. It was, it was, it wasn't like scary to me or nothing like that. It was very no. just different was, weird, I guess. It was showing us not holy stuff, but in a holy place. Good way to explain it. <laughs> so guys, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we have fun making it. It's always fun being down here and expressing ourselves and showing the things we enjoy to watch. So if you guys like this video, remember to subscribe, like, and share. And let us know what you think. And we're super excited to share all these creepy and scary stuff with you guys. So guys, with that being said, it's me, Angel, my daughter, Lily. And we want to say thank you. And uh, yeah, remember to subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye. Peace.